for Canada. There she is, uh, Wang. And uh, Danny Love for Israel. You have to uh, say that uh, you don't fancy your chances in this semi-final. Radanova, the uh, silver medalist in the opening round of these world championships, the 1500 meters. And uh, winner in the 500 meters this distance in last year's world championships. Shalou Wang, fifth in the 1500 meters at the uh, moment. And uh, Alana Kraus ranked number seven in the world. So uh, here we go. The first semi final in this uh, ladies 500 meters. And uh, it's Wang out in front. Radunova with her in second place. Then the Canadian Alana Kraus. And uh, as we thought, Danny Love struggling at the moment. So uh, Wang lying in fifth place in these championships at the moment, still leading Radunova in second place at the bell, and Kraus looking for a way through. Radunova will dis defend that second spot, that's for sure. Two through into the finals, and Radunova closing the door on Kraus, who looked for a way through up the inside, just approaching the line. No doubt about the winner, Chunlu Wang of China, safely through into the 500-metre uh, finals ahead of uh, the European champion, Genia Radanova. Confirmation that uh, Wang wins that one. And, uh, Wang with a, a brilliant start there from lane number two. Radanova going with her right from the outside up into second place. And uh, here's where she closed the door on Alana Kraus of Canada. And, uh, there's confirmation. Wang and Radanova go through into the finals. Disappointment for Alana Kraus, who uh, gave a spirited challenge on that final lap. So to the uh, next semi-final. That's the lineup. Katia Zini for Italy in lane number one. In lane two, it's Yang Yang S lying in sixth place. Then in lane three, Yang Yang A for China. And uh, in lane four, Chikaji Tanaka of Japan there, right on the outside. The uh, red helmet cover, of course, on the uh, head of Yang Yang A, the four times winner of the world title but uh, not a great start she's so powerful when she gets into a rhythm look at that two strides from third right up into the lead so yang yang a leads for china yang yang s in second place then it's zini for italy who's just been overtaken by chikaji tanaka of japan tanaka now into third place two skaters make it through into the finals of this 500 meters so yang yang a still looking strong a teammate in second place at the bell, and uh, Tanaka looking to make an impression on the front two, and uh, no team orders here, but Yang Yang A will get there, that's for sure. Yang Yang S in second place. Tanaka looking for a way through on that final lap, finishes in third place with uh, Katia Zini disappointingly down in fourth place. A good opening section of the race for her, but uh, hadn't got the legs to keep it going over the latter stages. So strong. Yang Yang, A there, making her move after a slow start and uh, crossing the line, making it all look very, very easy indeed. Superb control. Yang Yang A for China into the finals with a teammate Yang Yang S. Tanaka and Zanini out of this 500 meters.
So now the men's 500 meters semi-final. That the first heat. Gilnet for Canada, Lee for China, Han for China, and uh, last it's Weinstein for the USA. Ready? Oh. A little bit of a, a full start there for Han. Gator in position number two, you have one false start. Not of the head. Confirmation of that, and uh, Gilmet for Canada. It is out in front. So Canada first, China in second and third, and uh, Feinstein, who was so good in the uh, quarterfinals, unable to make any impression at the moment. Gilmet now down into second place. And it is the uh, man that had one full start in this race, making the running at the bell. Gilmet going with him too to make it through into the finals. Gilmet for Canada in second place, and for China, leading and the American right at the back, no way through. And uh, Gilmet punches the air. He's through into the finals for Canada, and for China, make it through. Didn't seem to be any infringements there. No place for uh, the American, Weinstein, or Lee. Here's a look at that start again, and uh, a leap on the inside in lane one from Gilmet for Canada. Just enough to put him into the lead in that first corner. A little bit of a nudge there, elbow going out. But uh, Yulong An making a move there and taking up the running. Gilmet making sure of that second place. So it's Anne, in fact, in third. Lee, it is that wins. Gilmet in second place. So Lee and Gilmet through into the next round. So they're the lineup for the next semi final. Lane one, it's uh, Maurizio Canino. Lane two, Mark Gagnon. Lane three, Kai Feng for China. In four, Rusty Smith of the USA. And in five, Yugo Shinohara of Japan. So there are loads of uh, support for the skaters on the side there. Teammates, officials, team managers, coaches. And uh, there he is, he's the man to beat, the winner, the leader at the moment, Marc Gagnon for Canada. What can he do here? Can he make it through into the men's 500 meters finals? And uh, a full start there. Well, uh, Shinohara seemed to hold his head just after the start. Wasn't sure if it was him that made the full start. Sure, we'll see it again there, the Italian Maurizio Canino. That's the man they've got to beat. So, uh, it is a full start for Marc Gagnon. Not this time, though, held back a bit there, didn't get the sort of start he was looking for into third place. It's uh, the Italian out in front, and Gagnon now makes his move. The door was open, and uh, you don't have to give him much of an invitation to uh, step through the door, and there's a faller there. It's uh, disappointing that for Feng, who's uh, out of the action. So Marc Gagnon leading. Maurizio Canino for Italy in second place. And uh, Rusty Smith for the USA in third. Shinohara for Japan in fourth at the moment. And oh dear me! Well, incredible action there. Maurizio Canino seemed to lose his footing. Rusty Smith's got his arms up in despair. Was there an infringement? as Rusty Smith crossed the line on his backside. Mark Gagnon won, that's for sure. 
There he is, quickly off the ice, and uh, just to get himself back into some sort of composure for the finals of this 500 metres. But uh, what an incident-packed race. Gagnon with one full start at the beginning, and then uh, making this brilliant move on the second lap to take up the running, taking Maurizio Carnino with him. And there out goes Kai Feng. Didn't seem to get any impact, holding his head. Let's hope he's OK. And uh, looks as though Rusty Smith may have just nudged Carnino, the Italian. But the Italian got through in second place. Rusty Smith eventually uh, sliding across the line. But uh, we reckon it's Gagnon and Carnino who make it through into the finals. We wait for confirmation of that. Should be with us any second and uh, there it is Gagnon and Carnino make it through Shinahara in third place Rusty Smith of the USA finishing fourth and Kai Feng after that fall down and out so Gagnon and Carnino through to the finals there he is back in a moment